Hey guys, Andy Elliott. Welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. I'm here today with two really good friends of mine who don't like to be on camera very much. <laughs> so I want to get that out of the way quickly, but I told them that they had to, okay? Now I want to tell you this. They have an architect firm called Pinnacle Design. These guys are the best at what they do. It's called the Andy Elliott 1% Podcast. Now everybody that's watching this, obviously you guys want to be 1%. You don't want to be the other 99%, right? These guys are the 1%. They're the greatest. They, they do business with me and my family. They do business with all of my good friends. These guys are building some of the greatest commer commercial real estate, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, buildings, which is real estate, um, all around the world. But you guys heavily are in commercial. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing that you guys need to know is what separates good, great, and unstoppable. What separates the 1% from everybody else? There could be lots of people that do architect, but why are you guys crushing it? Why are you guys are the best? And plus, I want to show you guys also some of the work that they've done. This stuff is crazy. You guys have done um, some business, American Airlines. You talked about Nissan. You talked about all different. I've seen some of the work they've done. This is crazy. Um, so I want you guys to get to know them. And by the way, some of you may watch this and you're like, oh, man, you know, I don't know that I'm interested in an architect. Can I ask you a question? Are you ever going to build anything big in your life? If you are, you're going to have a company. And if it's a company, it's going to have a commercial building. And if it's going to have a commercial building, do you want it to be a kick-ass commercial building and super cool and everybody's like, oh my God, you know, look at your, you know, look at your awesome, you know, company. Or is it going to be like, oh, that guy shortcutted some stuff because I see stuff getting shortcut all over the place. These guys are the best. So you want to know these guys. These guys are a resource to me and now they're a resource to you. So I know there's a lot of you right now that will actually like use them now. You'll use them this year. And then some of you will use them down the road. But now they're your friends. I want you to get to know them. Um, so let's let's kick butt. How long have you guys been in business together? We started, uh, just had our 30th anniversary last month. So that is freaking crazy. This, three of us idiots started it, and uh, we've grown it to 20. And uh, for the last 30 years, we've specialized in corporate office, medical, retail, industrial, uh, specialty. Yeah. Uh, some of the things that you've mentioned that uh, some of the big names, we have a lot of Fortune 100 companies that we've worked with. It's amazing. Um, all corporate office and uh, ground up and interiors. Yeah. So, so you guys got together and I, I've met obviously your other partner, mm -hmm. super, super great guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys all together, um, you're all a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You're all built different but you're all obsessed with architecture. We all have a passion for yeah, what we do. And you know, we, we have a passionate for the, uh, her passion for the clients that we work with and, and how they want to grow and uh, the buildings that we create, the spaces we create interior wise. And, and uh, that it all comes down to that we all share that passion. Yeah. And so there's different k kinds of architect, right? Like there's architecture people that only like work this way. Because mm -hmm. being an architect is like an artist, right? Yeah, part of it. I Absolutely. mean, kind of it, right? Like somebody comes to you, they have an idea, it's a blank canvas, mm -hmm. they tell you what they want, and then you'll design it. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Sometimes they don't even know what they want. Okay, and so somebody will give you an idea, or kind of talk to you, and then you'll have to. We need use to get your it in their heads, mind. pull out their ideas of how they operate, and, I love that. And, and what they want, and how they want to grow, and then we add all the practical things to it, also as far as flexibility and long-term growth or, or, or long-term flexibility. Um, but then we we kind of create what you know what their culture is, and we kind of help. Uh, do like their it. environment, what they stand for, exactly. and like their personality and mm -hmm. what they're. Okay, let's so let's go through a couple of these properties early on because I want to give some people uh, some visualizations. Is that cool? Yep. Um, so let's talk about like this like this like floating restaurant that you guys built. Okay. Is that cool? Like, yeah. did you guys <laughs> did they say we want to do this and they told you exactly what it was, well, or did they give you some ideas and you guys? Down in Scorpion Bay at Lake Pleasant here in Arizona, there was a, a, a marina that uh, had a floating restaurant and a gift shop, and they needed to expand it. So we expanded the kitchen, the, the dining area, the, the patio area, and, mm -hmm. and it, it is something that you could just drive your boat up to, tie up, have lunch, and, and then get on your, back on the lake. 
So it, it, it was a unique uh, situation where that, you know, it's a building that floats and, and not many architects I think in the world can say that they've ever designed a building that floats on water. It was a, a really big challenge, but uh, it, hugely successful. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're watching it, these are my brothers. These guys, they're killing it. They're the best architects I've ever met in my life. They do business with me and all of my friends. If you're going to build something and you're like, man, I want to build this commercial X, Y, and Z, you got to use these guys. They're affordable. They're the best, but they're so passionate what they do. Whatever you're going to build, you want it to be great. That's why it's called the One Percenter Podcast. They're the One Percent of the best. So you guys see this link below in the description box. Just click on it. You can literally schedule a call. They'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours and help you. I love you guys. You guys need to crush it with them. Let's get back to the video. So who designed that? Was it all three of you guys? I mean, it was the team. We, yeah, it, w it was the whole team. It wasn't just Chris or me. Um, we have um, incredible people at our office. They they come from all walks of life, all sorts of experience. And I think that's really what part part of what makes us special. Yeah, is uh, the amount of talent that is compiled in our office is um, probably close to second to none. Uh, it, it's pretty amazing. Um, we have people that have been that have owned their own businesses for twenty plus years. Uh, that are now with us, bringing that experience along with them. Um, a, a few people like that, in fact. So it's it's a, it's a special place. Everybody believes in y'all's mission. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Y'all's culture one, is pretty. The one cool. thing Absolutely. we all share is a passion for what we do. Yeah. And we all may do it a little bit differently, but we all have that passion for it. What we don't allow in the office is egos. Yeah. So Love we that. don't have that. Uh, you know. Uh, push and pull of egos we all work together and have the passion to have the end product be as successful for the client and and, and really kind of cool and so we're happy with well, it. I think since you guys are all different I mean that like allows the client to honestly like get their best buck bang for their buck mm -hmm. right uh, we we can come to the table with multiple per perspectives. Yeah, I was about to say because so, everybody's worked on different projects, done different right. things. So when someone's talking, it's like you got an, an army of people. Your dad was an architect, right? He was. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's really how it all got started. I remember being uh, a kid uh, in our own house and. Uh, we'd be, they'd be wanting to knock down walls and put up walls and we'd change a bedroom into uh, a reading room or a sitting room into a bedroom that was happening all the time. And it just, I just was sucked right into it, just drawn right into it. So I knew from a very young age that this was, this was my path. So. That's awesome. Did your dad do real estate? Like, like, com uh, like commercial. Like, like he, he did commercial too. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, when you say commercial, right? Um, so we're going to go like, let's like push over to the Nissan deal is that cool and then we'll move sure. through some other projects so like so you got a floating restaurant you got doing business you know physically with nissan you got american airlines you got all these so like is there anything that you can't do commercial or is it like if you're running commercial and it's commercial we're your guy there is nothing that we would not tackle commercially. I love it. I mean, okay, so you done, guys are all aspects from restaurants rooms, to whatever. Class 100 clean rooms. To medical, we've, we've to done, everything. Yes. Uh, yeah, from medical surgery centers, uh, uh, you know, all across the board. Corporate office. It uh, doesn't matter. We you just guys. finished uh, Meritage Homes corporate headquarters. 80,000 square feet of high-end design. That's amazing. Uh, which was an interiors project. Um, but th there really isn't anything that we wouldn't tackle because, you know, when you've done it as long as we have, we've mm -hmm. seen a lot of it. Yeah. But it's those unique things that uh, that get our juices flowing again. That, so we really like the, the more difficult it is, the more unique it is. It, it's it's really something we want to do. Let's talk about and I was going to go to this Nissan deal. I'll go there in a minute. Let's talk about what are some mistakes you can make with choosing the wrong architect? Like, like, like for real, right? Like, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm giving everybody a resource. You guys, you know, you guys will take great care of them. You guys are killing it, crushing it. You guys are doing amazing things. W what is the mistake though? Somebody's like, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm hypothetically saying like, like I found this guy, he does it for less or, you know, he's closer to me or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Right. I mean, you guys do architect all around the country, but like, what are some mistakes truly that let's educate people that you could make not choosing the right one? I think one of the mistakes you could make is um, picking an architect not knowing that they they should be taking direction from you. I think one of their one of our main jobs is to listen to you, to identify what you are really asking for, make those things come to real a reality. Uh, and I, I believe people hire architects thinking 
I'm just going to rely on them. They're going to come to the table with all these ideas. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that might work. It might not. That, that building or that space may not function the way you need it to. Um, but that's something that we drive at the very beginning. We get to the bottom of it. We want to tour your space. We want to know what you do as a company, mm -hmm. how you function. How can we create efficiencies within your space uh, to make your business better, to make it um, excel where it's not? Maybe you're talking about expanding uh, your space because you think you need to. Well, after a conversation, maybe that's not it at all. Mm -hmm. Maybe we just need to make your existing space more efficient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and and we, in fact, we're bringing value there and we're saving you money just by having that conversation yeah. um, and, and talking to all the, the, the people that we have in, in our house, um, all of our ar architect experts uh, and interior designers that have been doing this for so long. Uh, and they get to bring that passion to our clients, figure out exactly what their needs are. So I think that's one of the mistakes that uh, clients could potentially make, is not knowing that an architect can do that for them. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And you touched on it at the very beginning, and I think it is the single biggest thing that architects make mistake uh, and fail at is they don't listen. Mm -hmm. We need to listen to our clients and really hear what they say mm -hmm. and be able to translate that into something that works for them. Because if we don't listen, we don't hear what it is, and they don't get what they need. Well, I think you said at the beginning, look, architects, I mean, you guys are funny. You guys are cool. Outside of camera, I know we're on the camera, so it's like, but you guys are playful. You guys are cool. Most of them are super serious. Yeah. Right? I mean, the member cruncher, super serious or analytical. I mean, a lot of them, right? Yeah. He's a jokester, right? You're a little more serious. I'm a little bit more serious, right? yeah. Um, but my point is, is that that sometimes bit seriousness is they're framed in to one way. Right. And I think that's no, what I agree. Saying. And I think honestly, you really need to have fun with what you're doing. Yeah, facts. And and the process should be enjoyable for the client, for for us, and, and it should be a, a something that we enjoy all the way through. Yeah. And then you're going to have a a, a a product at the end that you ha you reflect on and go, God, that was such a great process. I want to do that again. Yeah. When I do it again, I'm going to use Pinnacle Design. Yeah. Because yeah, facts. the whole process and was your fun. Your it was effective. Is huge. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, usually when people do something, they they will do it oh, right. again. You know, later on, yes. again and again mm -hmm. and again mm -hmm. and again. In thirty years, you guys. We have so much repeat business and yeah. so much referral business that that's you know that's our best marketing we can do. We mm -hmm. tell everybody that, and everybody really knows that. They embrace that. They have fun with what they do. They involve their clients, mm -hmm. and as a result that word gets out we get to do it again with them we take pride in that mm -hmm. i love that absolutely um and so you guys have steered away from residential you stay into commercial what's your right. passion for for commercial is that just because where you started or uh it's nice to it's nice to get to work with the people that are um, occupying those those spaces okay. and and seeing businesses that get to flourish and use those spaces for years mm -hmm. uh and and um it, it's you take a lot of pride in that it's i think like, success comes from the, I mean, nobody would think, well, the architect had something to do with the success of this. Bull crap, mm -hmm. man. The aesthetics on everything, the way something looks, the way you feel when you walk exactly. up to it. Exactly, even how you feel. Walk Dude, up to it as you're working something. inside of it. We yeah. feel like we, we're a part of the success of a company that grows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well if we can help create an environment that they're going to thrive in and grow, yeah. uh, you know, that that is, is huge. we take so much pride in that. Um, what, what are, so let's talk about some of your, um, we'll go to some more projects. What are some of y'all's core values as people? Like, what are your standards? Our company does have core values. Uh, it's teamwork, respect, integrity, passion, and imagination. We follow those every day. I mean, we, we, we recite those. It's, it's, how we, it's how we conduct ourselves it's to one another. It's how we conduct ourselves to our consultants and our clients. And it goes beyond that. It's our expectation of who we're working with as well. Our clients, we expect to, to uphold those same core values, right? So we don't want to, uh, we don't want to um, put people in a position where they have to um, work with people that don't uh, possess those same core mm -hmm. values, right? It, it's critically important to how we do it. It's it's important to our happiness and how we conduct our and and how we are um, conduct ourselves and 
and promote our company. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people in today's age, it's 2024, the time we're shooting this, seems like mm -hmm. a lot of people, they don't have that, um, I call it like uh, a special touch. You know, when you're doing business with somebody and, you know, you should almost have such a good relationship with them, with them it's like you catch on fire. Mm -hmm. Like, like the personal yeah, touch is so good. You feed off that's each exactly other. Right. Yeah, and, and it's an it's invisible true. thing. Uh, you, you you don't get to see it on a proposal, mm -hmm. right? Like, mm -hmm. um, like oh, I'll do this for you for this much. I'll do this for you for this much. Correct. There's this invisible thing, and it's called a, a personal touch. Mm -hmm. And I really think that it's the great separator in, in today's times and moving forward with where you should spend your money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's important to us because some of our projects can last for years. We have these relationships for years uh, and very intimate too. I mean, could be daily or weekly calls with clients and consultants. So it's really important that we work with people that we enjoy. These projects should be very enjoyable as we go through it because they're a lot of times they're not easy. There's a lot of challenges yeah, I was involved. About to say, no, trust me, there, there's speed bumps along the way. Yeah. Yeah, there's always say, speed bumps. It, it, it's this not, shit is stressful. It, it's not. Right? I mean, it, not if, there's a lot you, of work that goes into too. it. There's it a lot of things that you don't necessarily see coming. You need to come mm -hmm. up with solutions together. Yeah, uh, I, I think I think that's one of the things why I asked, like, what are your core values and standards? Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of people, when they think about, like, architect, they think about, oh, well, that's money you pay for a set of plans or mm -hmm. you do this or do that. Dude, that is not that at all. It's right. not. These, you're marrying these people through this project. Exactly. And if you don't want to marry somebody, you don't get married. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't like someone, what they stand for, their core values, how they operate, their beliefs, and you may say, well, that doesn't matter because it's just business. Bullshit. This stuff gets personal along the way. It Would you does. agree? That's Would why our core values are... Business, are, are but then it gets personal. Our mm -hmm. core values are so important to us that it has to be reflective of our, our consultants and the contractors and our clients and, and anybody we come in contact with mm -hmm. through, you know, a, a, any of our disciplines, whether it's architecture, interiors, um, th that's how important that is to us. Yeah, I love that. Because it, you... you as much as you don't want to take this stuff personal and you just want to keep it mm -hmm. like, this is my knowledge, this is what I know, I can make that this, this design. Mm -hmm. Every time you show somebody something, you can almost feel what they feel. Mm -hmm. And if they're not excited about it or if they can't envision what you envision, it, it, it becomes personal. Yeah. Am I absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I mean, ego doesn't get in the way, but you can feel that if their heart isn't happy, you have to go right. back to work. Mm -hmm. right? And then their goal is, that's why it's, I think, I truly like, I think we're hitting on a, a deal here that like people don't think about until the money's been spent, mm -hmm. until that you're deep into it, and then you say to yourself, oh my God, why did we choose this person? Right. And now you're so deep in mm -hmm. that you're you're screwed. Do people ever switch architects mid mid deal? Does that happen? It it's does. funny you you mentioned that because yeah. just recently uh, we had a yesterday we had a, a interview with a. a, cl a a new client mm -hmm. they will be a new client next week hopefully <laughs> yeah uh we just had a, a presentation with them and they had another firm that they used that they designed the entire building um went all the way through they were ready to submit for permit and things went crosswise we don't know the details and it doesn't matter yeah. but they fired them and they said we're starting over we're starting from scratch so they chose two architects to uh, present and, and we were fortunate enough to be able to to present oh, yeah. to them yesterday well, and, you guys will get that deal. I mean, that's not and, and we're we're excited about it because you know this is something that we can be passionate about with uh, you know, with their new design and, and, you and know, turn the way yep. they feel yes. around yep. about this project right because you know you can tell like clearly they're pushing through this project because it's super important to them but, huge commitment but, for them to change horses but, unbelievable and, yeah and but they're probably heartbroken Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. You can tell in just talking to it's them. It's not just yeah. money. It, it, no, it's, it's the whole, it's the time and the process that they didn't feel hurt, I don't think. So yeah. we don't know that for sure, but we're going to make sure that when we work with them, they yeah, do feel it's hurt. perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I just want to say that because I've, I've uh, even, I mean, we built a house, right? Mm -hmm. Like it just, you know, building a, 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 a whatever. <laughs> you don't know you're going to spend this amount of time with these people. You know, it's like, we make this deal, we're going to build this thing. And I'm just, you know, it's like in the beginning, it's like, oh, they're going to take care of everything. Mm -hmm. This is all going to be easy. Right. <laughs> no, dude, you're communicating every step of the way, so many different things. Yeah. Dude, things change over the term of a project, you know, in your mind, what's going on. This, I mean, it's like, 
it's like, dude, like having this relationship with somebody when, when you're when you're doing these things is massive. It's just so huge. Yeah, And absolutely. like I said, the architect is really the foundation to the entire building, mm -hmm. to, the, to, to everything that's about to be done. Because then the workers get involved and they build what the architect mm -hmm. built, mm -hmm. right? But the architect is the key source in the beginning. That's probably mm -hmm. like layer number one. That's right? true, but we always are... What we feel our what our number one priority is for our, for our clients is not coming up with what we think the client needs mm -hmm. is figuring out what the client needs and maybe they can't even define that but it's it's asking those questions pulling it out of them so we get that understanding and we can put that out on paper and they say oh my gosh that's that is what I was thinking I didn't even know how to compose that mm -hmm. that's what it is I that, that I mean that's that's so gratifying when we get to do that. Uh, yeah. And then they get to they get to occupy that space. I mean, for years, it's oh, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. We spend our life in in our building, and mm -hmm. we didn't build this. You know, um, it was a shell, right? Mm -hmm. And then you know we we finished it. But the goal is, is we're gonna start building some buildings from the ground up, mm -hmm. and we're we're thinking, you know, like, dude, like we spend most of our life in these buildings, mm -hmm. our lives. So like, it's yes. pretty damn important. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It is. Yeah. And it, it's, it's important from the inside. Um, the, our company, Pinnacle Design, got started um, primarily as an interior design firm. I also mm -hmm. did landscape architecture. We've carried that through. Even as we developed as an architecture firm doing ground up buildings, we've carried that interior priority uh, into, that's one of our differentiators, I think. It's amazing. We focus on the interiors. It's so critical. It's one thing to be able to drive up to the building you're going to go to work at mm -hmm. uh, and be like, that's a really cool building on the outside. Mm -hmm. Then you walk in and it's uninspired. It doesn't function correctly. It's cookie cutter. Yeah. It, so it's, it falls short of what it should have been. Mm -hmm. Our tagline from the beginning has been designed from the inside out. Mm. A and that's what we have carried through. Like Cole said, we know the importance of how it works on the inside. Cause if, if it doesn't that's work on the inside, it. it doesn't matter how pretty it is. Yeah. But, you can take any building and make it look pretty, but you can't take any building and make it functional right. and make it efficient and make it work for a specific mm -hmm. use. And, so. I, and I think, you know, like if you walk into a home that like has a, and I'm, a, I'm married, right? So my wife's amazing. Mm -hmm. and you walk into our home, you can just feel the love when you mm -hmm. walk in. Mm -hmm. I've walked in some homes and it's just super cold. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like, I don't want to exactly. be here. And I think again, that translates to, to commercial yeah, also. Exactly. So when you guys are talking about design, mm -hmm. like if you can do that and you make everything flow yep. from the outside to the inside, yep. yeah, you're right. That is an unfair advantage. That's an edge because if yeah. somebody, and by the way, not many people are good at interior design. Yeah, uh, we have. Promise you. Yes. Well, unbelievable talent when it comes to it's interior true. design. It's Yeah. So that's the key though, I think. And that's why we mm -hmm. focus so much on that because that that's is. That's huge, man. It, man, that's, that's so huge. I didn't, well, see, I knew that you, uh, is it your wife that's an interior designer? Oh, well, she is. But that's what I think we were talking about is, mm -hmm. dude, I, I know buddies, mm -hmm. right, that their wives aren't very good at interior design. You should see my house. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a great interior designer. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm assuming, like walking into your house. Yeah. The, the feeling, they don't play. Oh, my gosh. It's yeah. just a beautiful They take space. it personal. Yeah. 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 But, and, but, but when you walk in, you feel. You feel it. Yeah. When people mm -hmm. walk into our house, they're like, is this a resort? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like, but she planned that. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was a planned feeling. Mm -hmm. to make people feel that way when mm -hmm. they came and in. that's how important it is I yeah mean, it literally changes people's mm -hmm. mindsets their moods it's so critical dude it mood changer totally mm -hmm. and when we do that in in commercial settings you can walk into a space and, and just feel the success of a company mm -hmm. or what they want you to feel yeah. or, you know what what's important to them and it's how we've created that that gives you that feeling that's so crazy man mm -hmm. that's cool guys any anybody watching this right now um, you know, we talk about a lot of different things. What we're talking about here is winning, and then the sport they play is architect. And then the business that they're in is helping people build their businesses, mm -hmm. which is super cool. So I know a lot of you are building, you know, kick-ass buildings. I know that you guys are building kick-ass businesses. Um, you know, I love brick and mortar. I mean, I my, I my digital real estate is all around the world, but my brick and mortar where my team comes, where my, my family stays, where we live most of our lives when we're working. Most people don't work in the home. They want to go mm -hmm. somewhere. Commercial real estate, small, big, you guys do it all. Oh, we do it all. 
Yeah. Uh, one example, we just finished a, a 4,000 square foot, we call it a boutique office building mm. uh, for, for a- uh, I've seen a lot of those pop up mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. They're just super, yeah. super cool. Yep, they wanted, it's a two story, 4,000 square foot office building. They occupied the, the second floor. It's close to Camelback Mountain. They wanted to capture that view. So we put a balcony on the north side so they can see it, lots of glass on that side. And then on the bottom floor, they wanted uh, to be able to uh, lease it out to a couple tenants. I mean, it fits their needs to a T, it's a beautiful so little rent building. So to, to home people at the bottom to live? No, just a couple of tenants. Oh, for all, uh, for for all business. Yep, could be a so, small little office So they little occupy office the top and then mm -hmm. they'll rent out the and bottom. And they rent out the bottom yeah, to a couple amazing. other tenants, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it's super smart. It's a really cool, cool building. I think they're really happy with it. But to that point, we've done 4,000 square foot ground up buildings yeah. that are fairly small. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've done a million square feet for uh, That's Best crazy. Buy. Mm -hmm. um, it's just crazy, you know, fairly man. recently. So we, we've done everything in between and every aspect of, you know, medical, retail, um, commercial office, you, you name it. I mean, we there, there's nothing we really haven't touched or we, certainly nothing we're afraid of. Well, and plus you guys have done a lot of big names. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always say like social proof, right? Or, you know, like, like, give me a referral. Tell me why, you know, mm -hmm. I should use you. And, you know, when somebody starts saying big names like American Airlines, mm -hmm. you know, Best Buy, you start, I mean, you're just like, okay, like clearly you guys are like A grade plus standard. Mm -hmm. you know our, our team is composed There's of no that. There's no question. I mean, yeah, we, we're just composed of a, a, just a lot of talent that's been in the industry for a long time that's done great things. Several projects with Mayo. I mean, That's we've huge. done. I mean, it just, uh, our so diverse. our client list is is pretty unbelievable. Well, what I know is this: anybody out there that's watching this, okay, number one, get number 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 one. Make sure you click at the link. I know that I've probably said this during this video, but click the link. Make sure that you guys set up a call with these guys if you want to build something super cool. If you want to be successful, right? If you want to win, make something that you can become legendary in. Make something that when you walk into, you're proud of. You know, mm -hmm. I think like the word like, I'm proud of this. Oh my God, yeah. Like that's huge, yeah. you know? And mm -hmm. um, I think people, they build something and they do things and they shortcut it. And at the end, they don't have that like warm and fuzzy butterfly feeling when they're done because nobody helped them get that. And I like what you said. You said interior design from the inside out. Is that right. what you said? Yep, that's it. Yeah, that's huge, man. You know, yeah. again, yes, when I pull up in front of a building, I'm like, man, oh, okay, you know, this is a great building. But when I get inside, 95% of all the life is going to happen inside of right. the building. That's right. So building it from the inside out and then taking care of everything full circle, mm -hmm. I don't know anybody who does that. Most mm -hmm. people, they just do what they were taught in college or yep. whatever, where they teach architect school. Yeah. That <laughs> is what, where people learn it. But they just, they, they, they color inside the lines, they follow instructions, mm -hmm. and you get the, you get you get what you get. Yep. And then a lot of times there's up. formulas that people go by. We don't use formulas. We, mm. we do what the client needs. And yeah, awesome. it may not be our taste. It may not be something that we would like to live in. But if they're happy with what we've created, there's nothing that makes us more proud. Yeah, we're all Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. wonderful. Absolutely. And we yeah. we embrace that. So we don't try mm -hmm. to force our ideas on uh, on others. We try to draw those ideas out of their head yeah. and then and give that to them in uh, physical form. I mean, and what, what's one of the most gratifying things for us is working with uh, companies, business owners, individuals that are passionate about what they're doing. And they're just mm -hmm. looking to express that in in the spaces that they're they're in mm -hmm. and how they function in their business. That's, it's so much fun. When you get to talk to somebody that's so passionate about, as passionate about what they do as we are about what we do. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's just, a dangerous formula. Put yeah. the two together, that's scary. Yeah, yeah. And, and I love what you said. I think this is a great idea. How many of you out there right now, you know you wanna grow your business, you know you wanna go to the next level, and having your own commercial space, mm -hmm. a place that's custom to you, your brand, because it's all about a brand nowadays. It is, we're 20, a culture. 24 yeah. moving, your culture, your environment, your brand. And I love what you said. You said they built a boutique mm -hmm. business. I mean, you know, as we're talking about commercial, I mean, most people are like 4,000 square foot, like that's a house, that's not commercial. Right. Oh, that's absolutely commercial. You can make a lot of money out of a 4,000 mm -hmm. square foot building. Absolutely. Okay, I mean, I'm just telling you, and especially the way you designed it, you said windows on the backside and all mm -hmm. this, I can already envision mm -hmm. how you guys did it. 
So my goal is, is that I think for a lot of businesses that are wanting to get started, a lot of people think that they're too young into their business to build something like that. They need to go too big. Dude, mm -hmm. start with something boutique like that. Yeah. Like just to be truthful. Exactly. Like, like that, yeah. that right there makes complete sense. Even in, in their existing spaces, maybe they, they just need to reconfigure some things to make things mm -hmm. work a little bit better. That's mm -hmm. what architects do all day long. I mean, it, it thousands so somebody of doesn't spaces. need to be building something from the ground up. Absolutely they may not. say also, we need to figure out how to make the space more efficient or we want a different look. Is that right? That's or right. Maybe they change how they've operated and mm -hmm. they say, we need to evaluate how we're doing our business. And, and we look at that and say, you know what? Flow is better if we do it this way or if mm -hmm. we change, change these elements to make it more efficient. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, man. Um, well, guys, number one, you know, every time that I have someone in my life that is just kicking butt, that's super cool. Um, that's winning. You know, we call it the Andy Elliott one percenter podcast because dude, one percenters are just so rare finding people that really care and that are passionate and that give everything they got to everything that, you know, they do in life. It's just, it's just so far and few in between. So anytime that I find someone like that, that's just absolutely killing it. All I want to do is I just want to share them with you guys. Okay. So what does that mean? Number one, save, get this podcast and save it. If you know, you're going to build a business one day, you need to save it. Number two, or a, a commercial real estate, but you're ready to roll. Two, if you're like, dude, like I have done this before, I'm going to do it again. Here's what I would tell you. These guys are the best. So make sure that you reach out to them. Make sure you schedule a call with them. Make sure you start the conversation. That's super important. And then three, man, I don't think that it's ever been easier to win than right now. And I mean that. And so if you're going to go in, you might as well go all in. You know, me and my wife, one of the biggest things that I would attribute our success to is when we decided to upgrade our building. We decided to change, and we're continuing to do it. And if you want a bigger life, if you want to have um, more success, you know, we love to show our team, you know, like we love to give them a special place to work in, a special space to work in. And the, and every time that we've upgraded where we work, their work has upgraded. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it is. You know, it makes people, ins you said inspired in the very beginning of this podcast, but like it just, a space doesn't inspire anybody, mm -hmm. but the right space will inspire people to give everything right. they got. So just want to say, hey, we really appreciate you guys. You're amazing. These are good friends of mine. Um, you're going to see them around us a lot. Um, they do a lot of cool stuff with us. Um, but more importantly, they're just winners, man. Everything that they touch turns to gold. So if you're wanting to go to the next level, you're going to have to be around somebody who's a really good expert at what they do and somebody who's super passionate. And what I love about you guys is that like you're just like obsessed with with like architect. Uh, no matter what it is that you're doing, you're going to yeah. make sure that the client wins. Absolutely. And you're going to make sure that it's perfect by the time it's Absolutely. all said and done. Yeah. yeah. If we don't do that, we're not successful. Yeah. So I want to Thanks so much. You. Hey. You guys, you guys did a good job, man, for being Thank on you. camera. Before we started this, I told I made them get on this deal. I said, hey, you're coming with me. And they said, uh, just because they're so awesome, man. But you know what I learned is that, you know, it's like the hardest workers in the room never feel like they're working hard enough. Yeah. And then the people that, you know, aren't really working, they think they're working too hard. Yep. Right? And then, you know, people that are good go around and tell everybody how good they are. But people that are great, they don't need to tell anybody they're great because everybody else tells them that they're great. We leave that up to you. Yeah, well, that's why I told them. That's I go, so dude, great. I said, you guys are so great. I want to tell everybody how yeah. great you are. And they're like, nah, we're good. I'm like, no, we're telling everybody how great <laughs> yeah. you guys are. So anyways, guys, I'm introducing you to some good friends of mine. I'm giving you access to the people that I care about in life that are killing it. So now they're your family. Okay, so I appreciate you guys. Really appreciate you being Thank on here today. Sharing these guys are the best guys. They do everything. You guys will all do business with them at some point in your life. Make sure that you reach out to them. Make sure you know who they are. I, I've showed some of their work on this. And then, like I said, let's all build big, big businesses together. Have a blessed day. See you in the next podcast. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.